Hi guys, welcome back. So we're here. It's been a week since I started using The Ordinary. I picked up a couple of products. I will link that video below or I think I'll insert it in a card. Um, so it's been a week. I have some thoughts. Um, I wanted to come and like film barefaced this way. If you are following this uh, little journey with me, you can see if my skin is also progressing. Um, quick side note, I have two lines here that is nothing to do with any of the products. My cat grazed my face very lightly with his extremely sharp claws and he managed to break the skin a little bit. So that's what that redness is, which sucks because the redness was starting to actually go down uh, and then he scratched me and then now I have redness because he scratched me. But let's, uh, let's talk about what I originally picked up. So in the previous video, I mentioned that I was really interested in the AHA 30% and BHA 2% peeling solution, the neos niacinamide, and this is 10% and uh, zinc is 1%. And I also got the caffeine solution 5% plus EGCG. I got the cleanser, which is the squalene cleanser. It's very gentle. And then the moisturizer, the natural moisturizing factors and HA. Um, I know a couple of people commented on my Instagram in regards to some of these products. I know, I think Sephora's out of stock or whatever. I found everything on Ulta. So if you do an online order or if your Ulta is open, go over there and, and definitely check out the, the stuff. Um, so yeah, I started it a week ago on Monday and I filmed myself after I used the peel. I even have a short clip of me using the peel. It's it's very, it's a quick one. And then I have like a three day check in. And then now here is after seven days. Just so you guys kind of have an idea of what I've been doing, what I'm pairing with what. I do the peel twice a week. I do it Mondays and I do it Thursday. Those are the two times that I've done it. So I did it yesterday again too, which was Monday. So this one, I'm seeing that I had problem areas like on my chin, I mentioned before, I have closed comedones. They're extremely deep, like clogged pores. And no matter what I did, Clarisonic, another um, HA, BHA, like cleanser was not really like pulling anything out. I tried to extract it myself, nothing. I actually found some relief in this. I'm gonna come in real close. So like before, this was all like, you see how I have some bumps here? Like that? That was all here. And I think it's a combination of the peel because the way that one works, if you're not familiar with it, I did a little bit of research. The AHA cleans off like the dirt on the top of the skin and then the BHA goes inside and like takes out like the oil. So it really unclogs the pore. So after that, I was actually able to pop whatever was underneath there. And I don't know if you've ever extracted a, a pimple, a blackhead or whatever. Usually when you extract it, um, you get like this soft, like pus or whatever. It, it's soft. This, I popped it and I swear it was like a little like rock. Like it was, it's gross. And it's very different from popping a blackhead, a whitehead. Um, again, I am not an esthetician. I, you know, I don't know much about that. I just know that, like, I know how to extract, like, a pimple and a blackhead. Fine. But those I couldn't. I finally found relief with that. Um, so that was one of the main things I really wanted to try. And also for the keratosis polaris, which is what I have here, it was the glycolic acid 7%. So I do this like at night before, like after I wash my face. Actually, no, let me just, let me go in order, right? Okay, this one is twice a week. This is the um, AHA, BHA peeling solution. I wash my face twice a day with the squalene cleanser. Uh, I'm kind of going through this one a little bit quick because I'm using it and my son is using it. My son has the keratosis polaris like on his cheek. Like it was pretty prominent. So I use this. Then after I wash my face, I'll put on during the day the niacinamide on top. Then I put the moisturizer, which is the natural moisturizing factors and HA. Really quick, I saw a couple of people saying that when they put it on, I just want to demo it real quick. When they put it on, like it goes like that and you see how it like it kind of stays white. Like if you have that 
like see i'm blending it if you have that problem just like really press it in and go like that and that takes care of it i know a couple of people were complaining about that i noticed that too because even when i was putting it on myself and i put it on my son i'm like wait this isn't like why is it sitting like this but then like if you just if this is your face and you kind of just like you really like press it in and kind of like that it goes into the skin nicely no problem okay then um at nighttime i'll wash my face again squalene cleanser and then after i'm done rinsing that off i'll use the glycolic acid toning solution cotton pad i saturate it and i put it like on my cheek i make sure to like really get like this area because this is where i'm trying to concentrate it on i do it all over my face though and then um so I do that, and then at night I'll do the caffeine solution 5% plus EGCG. So I'll put that all over my face, and I'll even concentrate it under the eye area. It says that it can be used there. And then I go over top again with the moisturizer. Same one I use during the day, the natural moisturizing factors in HA. These two together, when I put them on like at night, and then I wake up in the morning, my skin is really soft and it's not oily, it's not greasy, it's just like my skin feels and looks really good and it's glowing. So I like that. I'm sorry if you hear the dog barking. She just, she always barks. So that's what I do with that. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna stop the video here. I'm gonna insert a couple of clips so you guys can see like a little bit of the progress and my problem areas. And then we'll come back and resume. All right, I'm hoping that I'm in like the right uh, frame. I'm filming off of my phone and I'm filming it from like the back part of my phone, not like the selfie mode, but it's a little bit difficult to see if I'm in focus. Um, I've been using the ordinary stuff that I told you guys about. Today's Wednesday, yeah, today's Wednesday, since Monday, so it's been two days. Um, I did use the, what is this thing called? The mask, the AHA, BHA, it did leave my skin like nice and soft. Um, I didn't have really that much burning. I only had burning like in one spot where I must have like scratched my face a little bit. But I just want to get closer. You guys can see texture, okay? Um, and just the issues that I've been talking about. So like here, I have the keratosis polaris. I have texture here. So I'm hoping that kind of addresses that. But then the breakouts that I've been talking about too are all of these and most of them before were kind of like they're just like under my skin and there's no like there's no head to pop or any specific spot to extract and probably i'm not even doing it right it's just it drives me crazy and i did notice that from doing the mask and um using the nea what is it niacinamide and just kind of it, again i've been using the same things that i told you guys about i feel like some of these are starting to kind of get pulled out a little bit more but it could just you know it could just be like you know when you get something and you, like you see all these like results and stuff so I'm still gonna check in um next Monday and that will be like a full week and we'll see where my skin is at but I just wanted to share that with you guys I'm probably gonna put this clip in that particular video and then we'll see where we're at, where I'm at thanks guys bye all right I just want to do a quick check in for the products that I've been using for the ordinary. So here, it looks it looks less red. I mean, there's still some texture, um, but it definitely looks a little less red. This other problem area that I was having with the breakouts, um, I mentioned a few days ago that I have like these bumps on my face where I couldn't even extract it, and I definitely see that whatever was underneath is being pulled out. Like I know this is gross or whatever, but and very up close and personal but you can see that the bumps are now like whiteheads like I could probably extract them but I'm gonna leave them alone um it's day five of using the ordinary um I did use the the peel and it was it was nice I mean it, it stings like a little bit but I can tolerate it um and at least like my skin smooth like here this is really smooth um, up here, it's gotten very smooth too. I don't know that it's going to completely like take care of this, but I mean, it's only been five days, so we'll see.
All right. So if you've seen the videos, you kind of can see like some progress. You see where my problem areas are. Um, so do I think it's working? Yes, I actually do think it's working. I'm really happy with the stuff that I've picked up. I've noticed that like my keratosis polaris like here, it's it's still like, I feel like it's still a little bit red. It's gotten less red for sure. But where I'm like amazed is that the texture has extremely changed. Like I, I like that. I, I can appreciate that because it's something that I have dealt with. I think when I noticed that I had it, I must have been like five. So pretty much all my life. Um, on this side too, like this has really kind of calmed down. Like before I would be like, I always look like I'm, I'm blushed or no, not blushed. Yeah. Like I'm blushing or something like my face is red here. It's gotten softer. Again, there's some redness. I don't know that there's anything in the world that will ever completely take it away. Um, from my understanding, there's no cure for it. It's kind of just, it may go away on its own. It may not, whatever. Um, but I see an improvement. The biggest improvement that I've also seen is these stupid, like deep, I thought they were white heads or like black heads or whatever. They're closed comedones. They're extremely deep. It's when your like pores are completely covered by like oil, dirt, and then it just looks like you have a bump under your skin. So I think, I honestly think it is a combination of the peeling solution, the glycolic acid, and the niacinamide together like just using it throughout the day that has really pulled everything out and changed like the the texture of my skin which is again something that for myself it's it's been like a personal struggle that I've been dealing with um so I do see an improvement now I know I mentioned in my first video like this one you can use in the eye area it's supposed to brighten up my under eyes are not severely dark, so I, I'm not noticing a huge, huge difference, but I do feel like it is more, a little more bright under here. Um, so I'm happy with it so far. I'll do a two-week check-in, but I'm super happy about this. And like on a side note, which I, I'm like kicking myself right now, my son has keratosis polaris as well, and he had it like pretty bad here. Like the kids in school were like, oh, you have acne and... Like, it sucks. I, I remember hearing that too when I was a kid. So I actually have been doing the, he does the cleanser as well. He does the glycolic acid solution at night. And I'll do the caffeine solution and like the natural moisturizing factors. I've been using that on him. And I've noticed a difference. Like it, it's reduced like at least like 20% from what he had on his cheeks. Um, so that was huge. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'll do like, if I'll insert pictures or whatever, because you know, he's, he's a kid and this is YouTube. I'm putting myself out here for you guys and, and everything. Like I'm, I'm always like iffy when it comes to my, my kids. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, so those are my thoughts. I really like what I got. I like, um, there's nothing that I've, I've got that I'm like not happy with. Like I, I really am happy with everything and everything is so affordable. I think I ended up paying like $47 for six things. So I like that. So I'll be back in another week to kind of update you guys. Um, I do have a short clip of the peeling solution on Instagram and I am on TikTok. I know the quarantine did craziness. I joined it, but I do just make up stuff and like skincare related. So I have a couple of videos on that. Um, yeah. So if you guys have tried this out, let me know, comment down below and, um, yeah, I can't wait to hear from you guys. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're not subscribed, please consider joining and hit the notification button so that you don't miss a video. All right, guys, take care. Bye.